guys i hope you're all doing really well welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a nice relaxed chilled out vlog we are going to be going shopping i'm gonna hit the shops i'm at home bargains now i'll show you our home bargains this one's pretty big but we do actually have four different home bargains within my area within about a 10 minute drive so i'm spoiled for choice this one tends to be pretty good and i have already seen that they've got christmas stock out in this one so i definitely wanted to head here show you what was new in if you want to feel festive then this vlog should be for you because i don't care i'm not going to hide all the christmas things i am going to head for the christmas things christmas autumn they're the kind of things i'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled for home bargains is first on my agenda but i also want to check out b&m and a few of you guys mentioned in my last b&m vlog actually that they have an app which i didn't realize that they had so i have downloaded the app and it essentially has like this scanner on it so if you're unsure what um the price is you can scan it they've also got this big clean event going on in b&m so yeah and hopefully loads of christmasy bits as well because i just feel like the shops are just feeling like you know everyone needs a bit of christmas spirit in their lives right now why not start early this year this year has just been all over the place and a what is that person doing oh god so i will mask up sanitize and hope that you can hear me and if not i'll just do a little voiceover let's go they have the new mrs hinch laundry collection which i think i might try out the fabric softener i am also on the hunt for i think there's about four new floras that i need to get my hands on eyes appealed for them this is the label maker that i use this dymo um printing one and they do have black tape as well here so 11.99 for that really recommend that and then this is the first bit of christmas i've seen this is my favorite all-time favorite micellar water that i use to remove my makeup it's usually 7.99 but in home bargains it is only 4.99 okay so this is the halloween selection they pretty much have all the like decorations and things here and then all the sweets over the other side so i feel like these would make for really good tableware if you are hosting not that i think anyone will be hosting any halloween parties this year but they've got glasses jugs plates little trick or treat bowls little door stops and these cute little pumpkins and then if you want to go scary with the skulls and like halloween decor this is only 2 99 and they have the little glitter pumpkins up there in um orange and silver 99p this would be good for like halloween night out again don't know what the plans are going to be this year but trick-or-treat hair clips as part of your outfit could be like a nice glam kind of halloween look or they've got these little spider headbands, these pom-pom boppers they're called. But these ones are quite cute, the little cat ears in the black lace. I love these little um, honeycomb pumpkin decorations. I think they've got spiders as well. Yeah, there we go. Not really a fan of the glitter, but if you spray painted these white, 79p. Christmas selection boxes. <gasps> How exciting. Oh my god, cookie crumble. Have they changed their packaging? I swear ripples are usually like a dark brown, but anyway. Yum, Cadbury's, Little Robins, Jingly Bells. They've got all the Christmas chocolates. Oh, I love white chocolate. I bet they are delicious. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna get some of these because I just can't resist. These are so good. Yum, they have the gingerbread flavor matchmakers as well. And I've just turned the corner to the most festive section <gasps> christmas is here they've got that mirrored reindeer decorative piece what's this bunting up here do you know what that reminds me of with the whole tartan and felt very ralph lauren home that's what it makes me think of i'm not really sure how this works i guess you have to have had a baby last year <laughs> to buy these but they have all the, see this is what I think it is. I think they're getting all their stock out from what's in storage rather than any new in bits. Oh my God, I love these little reindeers. 9.99. These are very me, these baubles. The whole minimal white feather. 1.99 for a set 
of four. Then they've got these advent calendars already. And then I love the Airwick scents. So this is a cute little advent calendar, $4.99. I've seen lo loads of people do these like DIY moss bowls recently. Natural dried moss, 99p. All the trees and the um, garlands over there and some wreaths as well. All the wrapping paper crackers they've pretty much got everything at this home bargain i don't know if i remember this section from last year it's like a blush pink which they've got near the classic red and then this is a bit of me all the golds oh i don't remember these ones from last year either 99p they'd go quite nicely with the star ones that i've got already from last year they've got them in silver as well but the beaded star decorations that i have from last year that i featured in my white company dupes video i can't see them here how pretty is this one though 2.99 it is more expensive that one and that one it's so pretty last year i used all these as little present toppers so that i could see who the gifts were for and it's a nice little keepsake for them to have for their future trees and they've got them in gold as well and then I think I even got me and Tom one to have on our tree with a little and sign as well. Tis the season for cheese and cracker nights. Favorite thing to do. Oh my God, they've even got happy new year stuff. These are cute. Little candle holders. I'm not really sure how that works, but pretty nonetheless. These are 3 dollars little tea light holders. They've got the star and the tree. I think I like the tree better, you know. Hmm. Which do you prefer, star or tree? I love these little white tree candles. They're only one ninety nine, dollars um, But they've got this like iridescent glitter on, which I think I'd prefer it if it either just had plain glitter or even no glitter, because it kind of shows up in different colors. I don't know if that's coming off on camera, but anyway. They've got some seasonal candles and reed diffusers. They've got some fun gingerbread cookie cutters, Christmas tree chopping board. They'd be good for um, cheese and wine night, little cheese board. And some fun little spatula and cookie cutter sets. They also have a selection of festive tea towels. They've got some really nice festive bedspread designs as well. I quite like this Christmas winter foliage one and this Christmas stag one, that one's really nice. I love both of these. I wouldn't know which one to go for though. Festive fig and pomegranate, or orange clove and cinnamon, maybe this one. Only 2 dollars I love them. They have loads of festive stockings as well. Those ones are huge. Oh my God, look at these. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, they're bottle bags, that's a good idea. Again, if you're wanting to gift someone some wine 99p for a little jute bottle bag they have some festive pajama sets these are adorable if you're wanting like a full-on family christmas selfie they've got men's women's older children and little children and babies how cute so i'm in the fourth can you believe it fourth christmas aisle and this one's like gift wrap and wrapping. I remember getting these ones last year for people in different sizes. And again, that traditional tartan, like Scottish-like Christmas, I do love. And they've got so many different designs. They've got the huge ones for only 99p if you're wanting to really fill these up with presents and even the more sturdier ones. How much are these? 99p as well. So you've got Christmas on one section holiday on the other i think it's time to say goodbye to summer now these are all the little like kind of gift ideas stocking presents they've got some more of this one although i do prefer the look of the other one but this one is in winter berries i feel like this is the last of the christmasy bits that i can spot these little lip balms but they now do eos lip balms in loads of different um flavors and everything as well look at this for a saving 20 pounds and 50 pence these usually retail for what sounds like the most delicious crisps ever mackies of scotland have these pigs in blankets festive flavor the only thing is that is giant here we have it the section of dreams and they've got the new peony blush so i'm gonna get that i'm just that person you know that has to try every single scent that's Florida so yeah 
let me know if you'll like that too. They have the two new minky pads, the kitchen and bathroom ones. And they've got the scrub daddies and scrub mummies in the white and grey. They have these cute little heart bowls. Again, very white company. I feel like these make a really good dupe. The 129, the snack bowls maybe for like olives and nuts or if you're hosting just to put some nibbles out. We've got some new kind of home decor bits that I've spotted. Those baskets I love. £1.49 and you can get the White Company tea lights for I think they're about £15. So you can get the White Company scent and aesthetic at a bargain price. And loads of candles. I can spot some seasonal scents, seasonal re-diffusers. They've got this new sort of range out. Warm apple and cinnamon, frosted vanilla and gingerbread. Let's see if there's any new seasonal scents. Oh yeah, I've not had that one. Sparkling holiday. Some of you may remember these as well from last year. Again, white company dupes. These are little ceramic hanging star decorations. It comes with the little oil spray that you spritz on it. They're called pomenders. This one's in, oh, gingerbread, so they've got a new one. Last year it was apple and cinnamon. Look what I've spotted. One left as well, is that a sign? 7 99 for toffee apple flavoured gin. And then Battenberg cake flavour, custard cream flavour. <gasps> okay, I feel like my nose keeps popping out. <laughs> I feel like I've completed home bargains now. At least all the Christmassy section. So I'm gonna head to B&M see what they've got okay here we are so i actually have two b m's near me this one's slightly bigger so i got very successful with home bargains let's just say that there seem to be quite a lot of christmas things so i'm hoping for the same thing here you know i'm in a good mood today i feel like these me days a bit of retail therapy just comfy clothes minimal makeup starbucks is gonna be happening I'm gonna head on in and see what they have. And fingers crossed, we get lucky with the Christmas and autumn selection. Right, in B&M and OMG, since when was this a thing? Cadbury's White Oreo, delish, but I'm gonna just pass it for today. Special edition praline latte, yum. So this is where you can get your app out and check that it's that discounted price. So you've got the barcode for the coffee and it tells you exactly how much it is so £1.59 that one is seen recently that Heinz have brought out a truffle mayo they've obviously not got any here but if you see any do let me know because I am such a fan of the truffle kind of flavour I know to a lot of people it's quite sickly or like look at my nose keeps popping out so big <laughs> um, quite sickly or sweet but I love truffle so yeah if you spot that truffle Heinz mayo Please let me know where. They have the cheese lads. This is like stereotypical Christmas snacks. They don't seem to have much branding for this big cleaning event. It's just, to be honest with you, pretty much like normal. So Fabulosa now do a laundry cleanser. They've got two cents here on offer. They've also got the spraying wares from Fabulosa. I have one in lavender, which is really good. And then they've got the Febreze Rediffuser in Spiced Apple line awaiting price. So yet again, that's where you would just scan it and see how much that comes up at. I've not seen them sell these before. These little scented bags that you can pop in your room. You can obviously do a DIY makeshift one with Lenore Unstoppables. But for £1.50 you get three little bags. Mrs Hinch style white spray bottle for £2. They've also got the little mini Fabulosas on the goes on offer. Spotted these little Nordic tea towels, four pounds, very festive. I'm trying to head to the Halloween and Christmas section now. I've not spotted these before. These gold hexagonal shelves, they look nice. So I'd say this is the first of like the Christmas stocking filler and gift aisle. They also have the DIY hampers. I love getting these. They're 5 99 and you get everything in there. They have these little constellation trinket trays and necklace sets. This one would be mine because I am, of course, a Capricorn, unless if what they were saying about star signs changing comes into play, which hopefully that's not the case because I am a through and through Capricorn comes with a cute little necklace. I love that. Oh my god, I cannot wait 
for the day. I feel like 2021 might be the year, guys. Uh, they've also got these constellation notebooks in these pink and navy, like velour velvet kind of textures. Loads of other bits. I just feel like I might as well just pan and show you everything they've got because they have loads. They always have loads of like Harry Potter stuff as well. There's quite a few new little lanterns and this wooden one, pink gold. I feel like this candle, white, amber and patchouli is very kind of autumn colours. They have all the Christmas chocolates and loads of advent calendars as well. This is just making me want all the Christmassy chocolates, getting the quality street out. I've got these um, luxury festive hamper Christmas collection set which is very like Fortnum and Mason style with the like faux leather handle and closure. £15 that one is. They're kind of hidden away but they've got the gingerbread houses in there. Little tea hampers, Christmas puddings. Not a fan myself personally, but I know a lot of people are. And then they've got these little sauce sets. I always think that's a really good little gift idea because you get a full on cast iron skillet in there for four pounds. These coffee syrup pyramids are a bit of me. Ginger, cinnamon, hazelnut, toffee, and vanilla. And you even get a little topper to decorate with if you put cocoa powder over the top of your coffee. So this is pretty much the whole of the Halloween section that they've got. And a lot of it is just costumes for kids. Some Christmas wrapping paper over this side and Christmas gift bags. Oh, I saw this recently, you know, and I was very tempted because of the look of it. It says, Happy Halloween. I'd have loved it if it had said something less Halloween, you know, with the spider and everything. And it was Happy Fall or Happy Autumn instead. But it's pretty cute. If you were hosting again a party, that would be nice. I love the kind of rustic farmhouse style hessian kind of material. We've got the little light up pumpkins, but that's pretty much it. They don't have much else to be completely honest with you. I guess they just know, obviously, we're not gonna be hosting loads of Halloween parties or trick or treating this year. So maybe that is why. I do love these gift bags that they've got. These deeper, kind of richer colours that they've got along with the greys and the whites. And they also have this really pretty blush, pinky, lilac-y kind of colour. They have some really nice furniture bits. Oh, look at that drinks trolley. £18. Wow. That's like something you get in Oliver Bonus for hundreds. They also have these little side tables at £10. I like the fact that they're all one colour. You know, there's no added details. It's just very simple, contemporary, modern look. So they've got the black and the white. I've got these ones which are quite nice for autumn. Little hedgehogs and fox. Oh, it says warm and cosy. They're £2.50. And then they've got the Nordic range as well with the polar bears and stags on for £2.50 as well. Okay, so I think this section is pretty new. This is the cosy cottage collection that they've got. They've got these little furry heart decorations, stags, loads of stags. So these would be really good for Christmas time. The reed diffuser is in festive spice and vanilla. Little hurricanes you could put little flowers in or candles. They've got the stag and the Christmas tree design. And then I love these little candlesticks. And then they've got the little mini hurricane candle holder here for £2.50 as well. Then they have this deco glamour section with, again, loads of more home decor pieces. I love this little tea light holder. That one's £8. Little gold mirrored tray at the bottom for £6 as well. That's pretty good. This font reminds me of The Great Gatsby. That's that kind of era, the 20s art deco. Then they've still got the blush and grey section, which they've had for a while. They've got loads of new bits that they've added to it since I've been last in. Every time I come in, I always see this and love it. It's from the designer Karina Bailey inspired. Star tea light holder, 10 pounds though. I just feel is a little bit steep for what it is. I have spotted the Yankee candles. Let's see if they've got any seasonal ones. Candle lit cabin, that sounds good and a nice neutral color. A returning favorite eucalyptus. Wedding day vanilla, sunset fields. That's a nice autumnal color, but sunset fields. Good afternoon, welcome to Starbucks speaking Stanley. What can I get for you? Hey, can I please have a tall caramel macchiato? Yeah, can. Can I can I have it made with cinnamon syrup instead of vanilla, please? Yeah, can. Do you still want the caramel drizzle on top? Yes, please. Yeah. Is that everything, darling? That's it, thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Travel around. Thanks. Thanks, bye. This is a discovery which one of you guys told me about. 
and it's delish. All right, let's get home and show you what I picked up. Do you know what? I was even gonna treat myself this morning to Mackie's breakfast, but I spent that long in the shops that it's now quarter past 12, so they don't even do it anymore. <laughs> so I haven't had anything yet to eat and I was fully ready for a McDonald's breakfast. Unless, do they do, they do it later? I think they just stop at like 11, 11.30 or something. I can't get a McDonald's at this time. Mind you, it's lunchtime. I'm going to a friend's for dinner tonight and she's cooking these like, from Hello Fresh, I think it is, like a, a hot dog meal. So I'm having a naughty evening dinner, so maybe not a Mackey's for lunch as well. Oh, do you know what? It's a treat day. I've been doing a bit of retail therapy. Thank you, he's let me go. Yeah, let's just get a McDonald's for lunch. <laughs> Absolutely zero regret. Look at this for a combo. This is a me day. I did get one big bag from B&M. And I got one, two, three bags from Home Bargains. Every time I go in, I think I'll do a come shopping with me rather than a haul because I probably won't pick up much. I might see a few things which is worth vlogging, but not worth me picking up. And then I come out with four big bags full. So, yay. We just had the postman deliver something. Let's see what it is. Franklin and Sons. Ooh, three new spirit and mixer cans have just hit Manchester. Oh my God, yum. So we've got a Manchester gin, Sicilian lemon tonic, red leg spiced rum, vanilla and ginger, and a pineapple rum with ginger ale. Okay, let's start with b and Seems I've only got the one bag from there, even though it's a pretty big bag. So I picked up, oh, first thing I'll just mention quickly, because I have mentioned it in a previous haul. They've got these caramel Lindors, which I thought were a good autumnal color, $3.99. That's how much they were. I picked up this elbow grease drain unblocker, particularly for our shower, but obviously at work on any drains. These are $1.99, and generally speaking, I'm impressed with elbow grease products, so I did pick that up. I also spotted that 1001 have had a bit of a rebrand, refresh, some new scents as well. This one is in, in soft jasmine and lavender. Oh my God, am I all right? soft jasmine and linen. This was £1.89. We needed a new deodorant, so I picked one up at £1.29. Fruit spice, you can see there it's got the oranges and cinnamon and everything and anise, star anise, is that what it's called? At £1. I picked up some coffee. These were £2. You get 200 grams of custard coffee this up for our filter machine. I found the Rose Noir. So Zaflora have obviously this scent exclusive to B&M. It smells like quite a dark, musky, but floral. It's not my fave, I'm not gonna lie. It's one that, you know, I'm gonna try because I have to try every single scent that Zaflora bring out. A mysterious blend of rich florals and black cherry on a seductive base of oud and patchouli. So that oud I love, but the cherry as well, not a fan of cherry scents, so I don't think I'd be buying this one again. They've got a new one called Fig and Cedar. I really want to find that because I think I'd love that. And then obviously all the festive ones start coming out very soon. Festive Fireside, Warm Cinnamon. Okay, Freya from the future here, I just wanted to interject and share with you these beauties that I did pick up from B&M. I went in since filming this video and spotted these ones that I had to just include within this video. So I did manage to find the new Orchard Pear one and then they had all the festive ones in. So Sparkling Spruce, Warm Cinnamon, Winter Spice, Winter Morning. I feel like they've had a bit of a rebrand with the actual packaging and they look amazing. The scents are the same as the ones last year. This one I love and I'm thinking of including within a Pine Speed Clean with me maybe as we get close to christmas spruce eucalyptus hints of pine and nutmeg warm cinnamon is always a classic as well so yeah i just had to interject here and just share with you these beauties and now back to the haul i also picked up this so this is one of their cane syrups speaking of syrups and coffees i thought i would pick up this one i have the skinny syrups i have some flavors but to be honest with you as much as I like the idea of them, because they are zero everything, zero sugar, zero calories, pretty much zero and everything, I don't even know what's in them. They aren't real 
much of a treat, if you know what I mean. Whereas when you get pure cane sugar syrup, that is when it adds the sweetness. So I got this in praline. I've got the little pine cones and oh, the syrups are $3.99. I also got this coffee toppers set, which would make a good little gift idea for a coffee lover or like hot drink lover, even hot chocolates as well, these would be good for. It was only three pound in the kind of like festive gift idea aisle, gift ideas aisle. So the coffee topper collection includes vanilla sugar, cinnamon powder, cocoa sprinkles, and cocoa powder. And one of those little copper toppers which you can sprinkle on some cocoa dust, cocoa powder, chocolate powder, and create a pretty design on the top of your coffee. I also picked up this Halloween ghost cupcake kit. I know a lot of people don't class this as baking because of the ease and convenience, but I quite like the fact that you get little black cupcakes cases and it's white buttercream frosting that you make. Very simple design. I thought that'd be quite fun to bake on Halloween. I picked up this. Now this is a bit battered, so it was in the clearance. It says three pound, but I picked this one up for a pound 50. And it's a little oil burner, so you actually get the oil burner itself, but you also get six oil fragrances. So you get lavender, passion fruit, sea breeze, rose, lemongrass, and citrus. My faves are the lemongrass and the lavender. But you half fill the reservoir with water, add a few drops of the scented oil, place the burner on a level heat resistant surface or mat, pop a tea light in and let it just do its thing. So I did also pick up another wax melt burner. This one will hold much bigger wax melts. It'll hold the little Yankee Candle votives and the little wax melts that they do. So it was three pound, a little bit pricier than their usual ones at a pound. But it's also festive with the little snowflakes on. So I thought we could get this out around Christmas time. And the last two things that I got from B&M, I saw these little sheet masks and I thought I would try them out. I love the branding and design and colors of these. So I picked up the Manuka Honey one and Ginger Radiating Sheet Mask, that one is, and this one's revitalizing. I think I'm gonna like these. Now onto home bargains. Oh, where to begin? I'll start with showing you this because I've already mentioned it. This is the Peony Blush. Even though I'm not really floral, I do prefer this one to the Rose Noir. So this is a luxurious combination of peonies and jasmine with hints of orchard fruits and citrus wrapped in a heart of rose. So it is a very feminine, pretty kind of girly scent. Again, probably not one that I would repurchase because these bigger ones are $3.99. I'd have preferred it had they have had the smaller version that I could have tested these out. But I just am a hoarder and I just have to buy every single scent. It's like a big treasure hunt. There's a flora treasure hunt is real, it's a real thing. Also got myself a cute little pumpkin which I thought about DIYing. This is a wax melt burner, it comes with a little wax melt as well in spiced pumpkin. And I do think it would look quite nice spray painted white. So that may be a little DIY that I might do on that. Or even just to have out at Halloween. I can smell that already. Just to have out at Halloween as a little decorative accessory. So I've got myself a Halloween one now and a Christmas one. So that Halloween wax melter with melt is £1.49. So you know I saw those Mackey's uh, crisps. I also saw them on checkout, massive bag in turkey and stuffing, which I was tempted for as well. But anyway, I did pick up something from Mackey's and it was their flavoured popcorn. We are popcorn lovers, especially on a Saturday night when we're having a movie night or whatever night we have a movie night. Sundays as well and they have two flavours, festive flavours, they've got toffee, no they've got toasted marshmallow and gingerbread, I think this one will be my fave. These were only 89p each and you get a pretty generously sized bag. So I did it, I managed to get my hands on the Miss Hinch Lenore, this is in Rose Wonderland so again she's very much of the florals which I'm not so much. But I have to say that does smell really nice. It's very crisp and fresh, which is good. Some more snacks. I saw these kettle veg chips. I love these. They're only 99p. Lightly salted, plain and simple. If ever you've tried them, you'll know. They're delicious. And then these at £1.79, again, are so good. There's something about the fact that these Oreos are white chocolate coated that makes them so much better than the originals. So I spotted these coffee, ground coffee at 79p each. 
mega bargain. I always like to check out the stationery section. There are a couple of new bits, but nothing that grabbed my eye too much. But I did spot this huge card, which says girls just want to have fun, 49p. No message, so it's a good generic one to have in the card box. Oh my God, these are so festive. Oh, they're so good. They're called Stroop Waffles. And they're those kind of like caramel inside the waffles that you can just set on top of your hot drink and it kind of warms it up and melts the caramel on the inside. Toasted waffles filled with caramel. They have these in Starbucks if ever you've tried them. They were only 69p for quite a few. So I did it. I went for the Christmas planner. How could I not? It was only 99p. I'm a list maker. I love making my lists and doing all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would get it to show you what it includes. Little Christmas notes list pad. And then you can write your name, email, contact number and plans by month. So you can have what you've got scheduled in plans over Christmas, December, November, October. It starts from September. And then this section is for cards and presents. Any ideas that you get along the way that you want to add in or any things that you buy and want to remember exactly what you've bought for people. And then food and drinks. Again, if you're hosting, that would be really handy to do a shopping list. Say how many? Have you got tablecloth, runner, placemats, name cards, napkins, crackers, table plan? You can even draw up a little table plan. 69p for a pack of 50 cotton pads. I use these on a daily basis, so I picked up two packs. I got this for Tom actually. It's only £2.95 in home bargains. Usually it retails for more than that. And it's this short scarf got to be beach matte texturizing salt spray that he likes to use. Oh, I also picked up this little egg cup for 59p. So we have one and we needed a second for when me and Tom were having boiled eggs one morning because we usually go for poached or scrambled. So we needed another egg cup. I got some matches, these ones are 55p and I like these ones because they're the extra long ones. So we tend to use these when lighting the fire. So quite often you'll need a longer one to keep it going. Chewing gum, a checkout purchase, this one of 89p. This one was £1.49 and it's the first of the Febreze Air Mist in the limited edition Christmas scents that I've spotted this year. So this one's in Spiced Apple. I love the like frosted pine one that they do. Uh, but yeah, Spiced Apple, let's give this one a smell. Ooh. Oh, that is so good. So just like I was saying about the Ziflora of needing every single scent that I can find, I have a new obsession of doing the same thing, but with these Yankee Candle wax melts and votives. So you may, you may have noticed this in my previous hauls that, and vlogs that I've been doing in Home Bargains, but they sell them for 79p, such a bargain. And I've been keeping my eyes peeled for all of the festive kind of scents. I actually accidentally duplicated this one, so I'll show you this one first. This one is in Sparkling Holiday, and I like the fact that these ones are white. Before I show you the rest, I'll just take you off what you're currently standing on right now. It is this little pot which I got from Home Bargains last year, again in my White Company Christmas dupes video, because these are like the little Highland Escape candles that they do. So that's the small one, and then this is the big one. I think these were, I mean, you can go back and have a look on that video, but they're only about one pound something. So mega bargains, and these little votives sit quite nicely in there. I also got two of these ones called Sunlight on Snow, which just sounds amazing oh that one smells really good the other two neutral colors that i got are these ones this one's in christmas wishes and this really nice neutral beige color is in iced almond cookies i got this little green one called a christmas tree which is quite like the pine scent that i love then i got these three red ones this wax melt is in home for the holidays and then the two little votives are Glad Tidings and Holiday Magic. So there we have it. That is everything that I picked up from B&M and Home Bargains. I genuinely thought I was just gonna go and vlog today, show you what's in stores and barely come out with anything. And well, I surprised myself. Am I really that surprised? Probably not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog nonetheless. And if you do like these videos, make sure to subscribe because I will be doing more of them in the future. They're like my favorite videos to film. And yeah, I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.